<coughs> I'd like to share with you uh, my thoughts on on Abraham, the father of our faith. And if you, <coughs> if you like me, have come out of an abusive situation, you've left your family, you've left loved ones, you've left a spouse perhaps, because you, you valued something that they didn't. You had the same value system. You placed the same level of import or of importance on things, on the same things that, that Abraham did. You valued truth like, like Abraham. You, you valued and loved God like our father Abraham did. You had faith and you valued that faith like him, like Abraham. And I'd like to read from Isaiah chapter 51 verses 1 and 2. This is Hashem speaking. And he says this, Hearken to me, you who follow after rightness and justice, you who seek and inquire of Elohim. You follow after rightness and justice. You value it. This is Hashem talking to people who value justice. It's precious to them. They value their spirit. Having a right spirit, a right conscience. That's a priority to the person that Hashem is speaking to in Isaiah 51. Hearken to me, you who value righteousness and justice and reality. <laughs> Look to the rock from whence you are hewn, from which, excuse me, from which you were hewn and look to the hole in the quarry from which you were dug. Look to Abraham your father and to Sarah who bore you. Look to Abraham your father and to Sarah who bore you. Now he calls Abraham and Sarah the rock from which people who follow after rightness and justice are hewn. To me, Hashem is saying, <coughs> you who value spirit and truth, when wisdom and truth and spirit are precious to you, you're made of the same stuff. You are cut from the same rock as our father Abraham. We're like him. You are like him. I know that. I say it every time. I'll probably continue to say it till the day I die. The mere fact that you value faith and righteousness 
and justice and you value spiritual truth, the mere reason, I mean the mere fact, excuse me, the mere fact that you value those things was enough for evil people to try to crush you, to try to crush that belief system you have particularly a malignant narcissist. When you value light, that darkened narcissist, he's going to, he, in his mind, he only has two options, to control you the best he can or to destroy, to destroy you. Because you're like Abraham. Devil doesn't like Abraham. <laughs> no, he doesn't. You're made of the same stuff as Abraham. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You who have survived abuse from the hands of wicked people. You're made of the same substance of Abraham. You have the same value system that the father of our faith had. And I'm, my prayer is that you cling on to this truth no matter what trial you're going through. You may be in the middle of a narcissistic hell. I don't know. Maybe you were fortunate and blessed enough to escape it. But I'm going to attempt to hang on to this, this truth, and I pray you do too that Hashem looks at us very much like He looked at Abraham. He considers us made from the same rock and the same rock quarry as Abraham and Sarah. That's good. I esteem Hashem's opinion more than I esteem any man's opinion of me. His opinion of me is truth. <laughs> it is truth. Now, as as we as most of you know, Hashem told Abraham to get away from those people, all of them who do not value me the way you do, Abraham. Get away from people who do not value your spirit the way that you value your own spirit, Abraham. People who value the light in them, the truth in them, their inner being, people who place a value on their own soul, on their mind, on their emotions. People who value the temple of Hashem that they live in. People who esteem their physical bodies precious. They're not going to allow their spirit, their soul, or their body to be, to be abused, to be oppressed, to be crushed. They place great value on their conscience. And if truth and reality are valuable to you, and they are, you will detest falsehood. The narcissist <clears throat> running around with his false self and false personality is detestable. Even if they don't abuse you, they're detestable. <coughs> Excuse me. As they were to Abraham. As they were to Abraham. Abraham hated falsehood. Abraham loved truth. He hated falsehood. He hated idols. Now, to me, idols represent falsehood, the ultimate falsehood.
And Abraham hated him almost as much as God. And we read this in Genesis 12 that God told Abraham, For your own good, for your own advantage, do this, Abraham. To preserve your spiritual life. To preserve your soul. To preserve your conscience and keep it clear and sound. Go away from your country. He could have said, go no contact. Go away from your country. Go away from your relatives. Go away from your father's house to the land that I will show you. And Abraham did that, as you know. You see, when when Hashem dealt with Abraham at this time, I'm kind of veering off topic a little, but not much. At this time in history, there was no Mosaic law. There was no Levitical priesthood. None of that. The only thing Hashem required from Abraham, and it was a quality and a virtue that already existed in Abraham and Sarah's heart, was sincerity was purity and genuineness. And that was the only requirement he had of Abraham. Just walk, the word is perfect in English. I looked it up in Hebrew. The word is tamim, and I'm probably mispronouncing this, T-A-M-I-M. Walk in tamim before me, is what Hashem, that was the only requirement he put on Abraham. Be transparent with me. Be honest with me. Just be real. Just continue valuing and placing a high premium on truth. Be true to yourself. And be true to me, Abraham. And I'll walk with you. He didn't, That's the only demand he really put on Abraham. He didn't burden him with a bunch of rules and regulations, and he really didn't have to because a person who values his conscience doesn't need a plethora of external rules and regulations to guide them. That guide is already inside. Just be be true to that. Be tamim. That's the Hebrew word. Be tamim. And you are like our father Abraham, you who have been targeted (coughs) and have survived the work of the devil. You're cut from the same rock as Abraham in the eyes of Elohim. You are. You read in in Psalms where Hashem is the defender of the fatherless and the orphan. He becomes the personal protector of those who were abandoned, spiritually abandoned by their family, friends, people they should have been able to depend on. Hashem takes up their cause. Hashem looks at you very much like he looked upon Abraham, the great Abraham, and he considers you great too, not in a prideful sense. Let me rephrase that. He considers you of eternal value. I'll put that, I'll put it that way. Eternal value. You're made of the same stuff as Abraham and Sarah. Don't forget that. Don't ever forget that.